everyone. I'm at Niche Euro and I've just spent the uh, better part of, what, two hours? Putting, yeah, about two hours, yeah. yeah. <laughs> putting together an engine stand and getting my engine on that stand so that I can tear it down. This is Nick. Uh, he's one of the guys. mechanics here. Uh, so where are we? Uh, we're at Niche Euro, based in Wangara, Perth West Australia and we specialise in German vehicles, uh, especially, for example, this E36. So yeah, I, I've known uh, Nick and one of the other mechanics here, Heath, for a little while, and um, I got to know them because I have an E36, and it's kind of hard sometimes to find people who actually care about it. So I got talking to them, and I've been mucking around with my car for a while, and uh, I've wanted to do a bit more. Uh, it started leaking oil out the front really badly, and we tried, what, three times? To, three to the front cover, yeah. Yeah, three to do the front cover, so it needed to be pulled out so that we could figure out what was going on. And um, I lost my mind, and I've decided to go full ham, and I'm going to stroke the engine. So if you're into the M44s and M42s, you've probably seen on forums or rumours or whatever that there's uh, a couple of bolt-on mods you can do to stroke this engine. Uh, and I've heard and people getting you know between 150 to 170 kilowatts of the wheels uh, just running you know pump fuel, and I have decided to give it a go. So they actually like cars, uh, and they decided to let me tear it down here, and they're going to help me put it all back together in the car when it's done. That about sums it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So good little job to see how it goes. Yeah. Hello again everyone. Uh, it definitely hasn't been two months. I know the beard just grew overnight. <laughs> I was working on this, making good progress on that first day, and then the uh, crank bolt here was causing some trouble. Uh, and we couldn't get it out. So the boys had to wait till they had a break uh, and then they literally wheeled it on the stand down the road to a heavy diesel mechanic who had the uh, kind of uh, tools you need to get this out. Big 3000 newman meter, one inch drive impact gun and just took it out. So time to get back to it. Geez, that's a hell of a noise. Like the Phoenix arrows up.
Well, today's mission was a success. I've gotten the engine fully torn down, pistons out, block is completely clear, ready for the machine shop. And I have the entire point of the project just sitting here, just for a little funsies test fit. And this is the N47 diesel crank that is needed to get a stroker out of this block. Uh, as you can see, it just drops straight in and uh, rotates freely. It does require some modifications and I will be doing more to the block as well. It will be getting bored out for S54 pistons. I also have new rods to get the deck height correct. Uh, I have a fully worked head with larger valves and uh, that's been ported. I've got new cams, or rather old cams that I was using in the engine previously, but they'll be going into the new head and uh, probably a few other little details that I've forgotten. Once upon a time, it actually used to be really easy to find the information on how to do this build, uh, on how to get a stroker out of this engine and get the most out of it. But with forums slowly dying, uh, the M42 Club isn't always online and the information being harder to find when you do search on things like Google and so on, uh, it's really difficult to find persistent information and when you do, it can also be very difficult to find parts like this crankshaft. So, the actual goal of this project is for me to have a bit of fun and build it, but that's the secondary goal. The primary goal is to make everything that I put into this project available and all the information available so that you can pull off this project as well with all the right information and good, good results. And the results will be worth it. There's a couple of engines running around that have been built this way over here in Australia. Uh, yeah. And granted, they're running on ethanol, but they're putting out similar wheel horsepower as the E36 M3. So there's quite a bit that can be um, uh, had from this. And I'm looking forward to it. So I'll leave this alone and I'll, I'll get cleaning up and then I'll take you through some of the bits that I've got on the bench and uh, if this interests you please subscribe because it will be happening uh, it will be happening now it's it's a part it this is ready to go to the shop it should be to the shop uh, sometime this week once I clarify a couple of details and exactly what needs to be done and uh, some of the parts should be available on the website pretty soon so please keep your eye out on that all right welcome to the bench of moderate chaos so this is where everything is for the moment might as well take you through it all so over here this is the head that i took off uh, and these are my fancy custom cams i've been running them for quite a while these are actually great um, i will have these available on the website soon uh, because they work really well on the factory ecu and the factory idle control and they give you a good bump in power and they do move the rev range uh, the power up in the rev range which is honestly just more fun to drive uh, so yeah these are great um, this will be getting reused in my um, cnc ported head but for the moment that's uh they're just sitting here very cool um, very looking forward to getting these into the head with a bit more airflow over here i have my cranks factory crank diesel crank a couple of things to point out this is a fully forged crank you can see uh, over here here we go in the casting mark this big fat seam from the die when it's dropped and uh, or the forge when it's dropped and over here you can see this skinny line from the uh, casting process uh, so this is a much stronger crankshaft the other thing is it's also fully counterweighted which means it can rev a lot higher uh, this crankshaft weighs nearly twice as much as this one it's much stronger and the counterweighting Though adding some mass will definitely allow it to get its RPM up a little bit smoother, which is cool. A few little things that I need to do to make this work on the car. The nose needs to be shaved down and uh, the um, uh, timing gear. I have to use the one on the front on the engine damper, which is over here. You can see that's got the timing marks there, but I'll go through all that so that you can follow along. These cranks will be available Eventually, I'm still working on with a supplier to actually get them manufactured, uh, but they they will be they will be available. Moving on to the block, 
uh, M44 block, so I've got the oil squirters and I'll be getting the pistons bored out to take these, um, the cylinders bored out, I should say, to take these S54 pistons, which are substantially different than the factory piston. For one, they're a larger diameter, but as you can see, this has got a concave surface and these have a convex surface. Basically, these are just higher compression, uh, which will work even better with those cams. So there's a little bit of modification that needs to be done to these. Uh, and these ones I'm still working out on how to get them supplied, but everything else, it's coming together. Over here is my fancy cnc seed head. I, should, I will be doing a full video on this at some point, but for the moment, um, they are available on exchange. So not on the website yet, but I will be listing them soon. So feel free to send me a, an email through the contact page on the website if you want to do one now, and I'll work it out with you. But uh, these will be listed uh, soon for the M44 and M42 heads uh, as a CNC port on exchange. Coming down here, this is one of my favorite pieces. I made this piece when I was at uni. This is an RHD ITB kit, and it was one of the first projects I took on for myself for fun. Um, I worked with RHD to uh, put this together. I spent an unreasonable amount of energy doing CFD on this profile to make sure it was as efficient as possible, as well as working out the lengths and the volume so that it would suit my engine perfectly. The final kit uh, came out sometime after this was on my car and running. Uh, you can actually find it on um, uh, my website. It's already available, um, has been available for a while, and it's a great piece. Uh, and, you know, and this is this being the prototype is slightly different than what's available for sale. And I will be getting one of the um, final versions to make a, a video and show you what changed over, you know, between doing a prototype and the final product that was released by RHD. So um, this is something that's very close to my heart. And moving around here, there's two gearboxes. This one at the front is my new gearbox, which is a 420G from an E36 M3, so it's a six speed, which will better match the rev range I've got on uh, the engine once it's done, uh, because I've changed the final drive. I don't have it here, but my LSD has been rebuilt with a 4.1 final drive. That's the original gearbox, and then over here is a line flywheel, which is another RHD product, which is great. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, I've started writing some technical articles about these cars and the engines and what you can do with them and I will be putting together a technical article on the flywheels and clutches but that light and flywheel is a great place to start for modifying your car. Anyway, please stay tuned to the channel. Uh, the goal for this is to make sure that not only can everyone follow along and build the engine the way that I'm building it but I'm doing everything I can to make sure that all the information is there uh, from a technical point of view between my website's technical articles and the video, as well as making sure all the parts are available and easy to find, which is why I'm getting them listed on the website so that you can buy them from uh, there and follow along with this project directly. So yeah, hopefully that appeals to some of you and you find it interesting. There's going to be a lot more technical deep dives. I know this is all very surface level, me just pointing out what's going on, but you know, there will be some technical analysis on what's going on with these cams as well as the head over there and uh, the cranks and so on. So it'll, it'll all be coming. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.